Okay, I'm going to show you something really cool in Darkroom Booth 2 builds 4.51 and higher. So here you can see I've got uh, Darkroom Booth running on my computer. I have a second monitor hooked up to it and I'm running my primary slideshow there. In this case I'm showing the original images, not the strips. Now what I can do is I can hook a third monitor up to the computer and I can run a different slideshow and in this case I can pull images down from social media. We'll download them and display them on the screen. In this case I'm pulling images from uh, Instagram but it could be Facebook, email, MMS, or Dropbox. So let's take a look at how we set this up. Okay so here we are in Darkroom Booth 2 slideshow settings tab and I've got my main slideshow set to display on a secondary monitor so we will automatically send that to monitor 2. Now if you have other monitors what you can do is set up an additional slideshow what we call channel 2 and then we also have a channel 3. When I turn that on you'll see I've got some settings for arrangement and what I want to display so I could do folder, quiz results, or here are the social media options. So I've got Dropbox, email, Facebook, Instagram, text message. So if I click on Instagram here I can put one or more tags and I can say match any of the tags or I can say match all of the tags and then I can set some date limitations so I don't get things from a long time ago and when you start the slideshow we will automatically pull images down. With MMS people could text you images and we will pull those images in and display them. Same with email. You could set up an email address to be monitored for incoming images. Now once you have this set how do you display that show? Well you open the slideshow folder and you'll see that we have a slideshow too. It's an HTML file, so what you do is you double click on that file and open it up in a browser and then drag that to whichever monitor you want to use. So if you have monitor you know, 3, monitor 4, you know, we don't know, so that's why you've got to manually drag it over there. Um, the cool thing is, is this could be a projector, or if you really want to get crazy, you could share these files out and you could open them up on another computer or a smart TV and run your slideshow there. Um, and then again we can even do a channel 3 um, if you had even another monitor or again another computer or tablet that you wanted to run the slideshow on. So that's how you do multiple slideshows in Darkroom Booth 2 with social media input.